Hi, this is Julie with Beataholic, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make, from start to finish, a fun and festive party necklace. So this is going to be something that's going to be really sparkly and fun, and kind of an all-occasion going out necklace. So I have a bust here that I'm going to put it on at the end, but I'm going to move it aside for right now. And in front of me I have all the supplies, and I'm going to be doing some of the actual designing while here on video, and kind of talk you through it to give you an idea of how you might take this technique and create a similar project, maybe even using different supplies. So I'll give you some design tips as we go. But first off, I have three different lengths of this really pretty check glass link chain. So check glass faceted beads, and they're all linked together already. The chain comes like this, and I've got three different sizes. So the largest size is 12 millimeters, followed by 10 millimeters, followed by eight millimeters. So three different sizes here, all a foot each. And I'm not gonna be using a full foot of each, but I'm gonna start with a foot to show you how we're gonna cut this and measure it properly to get a draped swag appearance happening. And then I have another chain right here. It's a really pretty gunmetal chain, and I do have a foot of it. And then I've got two 12 millimeter Swarovski Crystal Rivoli's. And I've got these great strand reducer Rivoli settings by Tiara Cast in a black finish. And we're going to put those in. I've got some jump rings and I have a clasp. It's a toggle clasp. And then some E6000 glue. Now in terms of the tools, we've got a ruler, a pair of cutters, and two pairs of chain nose pliers. So let's begin. And like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing some of the design work here on camera instead of pre-cutting everything ahead of time. So what I want to do is I want to do basically a multi-strand necklace with three strands of this really pretty check glass chain, and I want them to drape like so. So I'm going to line these up. So I want the biggest one at the base, and then I want it to go in towards having the smallest one up top. And you see what's happening here is we're going to need to cut this chain because we want it to lay properly when we put it on the bust at the end, which will mimic how we have it on our chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up I'm going to pretend that this is right here. Well, not pretend, but actually have it right there. So that's what I'm going to be connecting it to with jump rings here in a little bit. So I'm going to line up this and just pull it aside. There we go. And I can see I need to remove two of these links. And I'm going to do the same thing with the eight millimeter. So line this one up. So you might want to do a project using a different type of link chain. You'd follow the same technique to figure out how much you need. Okay, there we go. It's a really pretty swagged appearance. And a beautiful part of the link chain is we're actually not going to cut it. We're going to separate out the links. So if we ever want to go back and add them back in, we can do so. So I want to remove two of the 10 millimeter and I want to remove four of the eight millimeter. So to do so, I'm just going to lift it up, open up the link the same way you'd open a jump ring, slip off the links I don't want, and just close that link back up. Really easy. And now I've got these that I could use to make a pair of earrings or whatever else. Now for this one, I wanted to remove four of them. Slide those guys off and close them back up. I'm going to set these guys aside. And now what I'm going to do is I want to attach these to my setting. So I'm going to take these jump rings right here and I'm going to open one of them up. So if you're not familiar with how to open up a jump ring, you take two pairs of chain nose pliers, and actually I brought this white paper here because it might be a little easier to see instead of on the gray. And you just grab them on either side of the opening and you twist open. Now we're just going to go ahead and link it to the end link of our chain. And then the outside link on our strand reducer and then close that jump ring back up. We're going to repeat. I'm 
When you're opening jump rings, you want to make sure that the opening, the slit, is always up top. Twist open. Grab my other chain. And twist close. Grab one more. So we've got one side connected. You can see what that looks like. Now let's go ahead and connect the other side. And like I mentioned, I did not pre-cut these. I wanted to do the designing here on camera because I am actually not 100% sure that I'm not gonna wanna add some of these links back in. So if I do, I wanted you to see the process, but let's give it a try. Opening that jump ring. And you'll just want to make sure that your strand reducer connector is facing forward and that you're connecting the chain lengths to the appropriate loops. Always helps, I think, to lay it out on a table as you're going. So let's bring this bust back in. So this is what we've got so far. And I quite like that. I think that works really well. So I'm gonna lay it down. And I do wanna show you how much we ended up removing from each of the respective chain lengths. So for the 12 millimeter one, we used all 12 inches. For the 10 millimeter, we used 11 inches because we cut off an inch. And then for the eight millimeter, we removed two inches, so we used 10 inches. And we will have a full uh, project write-up for this with all of the supplies listed on betaholic.com. So now what I wanna do is I wanna use this other chain to be able to connect these two strand reducers to the clasp and add some more length to this necklace. So this is 12 inches of chain. I'm just gonna cut it in half, and a really easy way to do that is just fold it in half, find the midway point, whatever length that may be, and just cut it right there. Some links you can open like jump rings and others you actually need to cut. This one here we needed to cut. So to connect that to our tiara cast finding right here, we're just gonna open another jump ring. Link it to the end chain link. And then link it to that top loop on that finding. Close the jump ring. Do the same on the other side. And now we're gonna connect our clasp. So we have a toggle clasp and we're just gonna use a jump ring on each side of the chain to connect each half of the clasp. This is a really quick and easy project, but you end up with a very nice statement piece of jewelry when you're done with it. Okay, so we've got the clasp attached now. If you're not familiar with how a toggle clasp works, again, let me pull the white paper so you can see it a little bit better. So you just go ahead and you put the toggle bar through the ring and pull it and then it links. 
So let's put this on our bust. And this is actually a wee bit long for this particular bust. There we go. So this would hang too low, but basically that's how it would look on your necklace. And of course I haven't added the Rivoli's yet. I'm gonna do that last. And I'm doing it last because it requires glue. And when you're doing a video like this, I didn't wanna to have to stop and wait for that glue to dry, but you could go ahead and glue those first. So let me undo my toggle. Lay this down. Now I've got some E6000 glue and I'm just going to put a little bit in the center of this finding. And then I'm going to drop in the Rivoli. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. And it does not take a lot of glue. And just drop him in. And our necklace is now complete. And I'm going to be very careful and hold this up again on that black bust, just so you can see what the finished piece looks like. Just don't want to hold it up for too long because these do need to dry and they need to dry laying flat and upright. But let me just show you real quick. Move this forward. So I think that's a very pretty piece of festive, either holiday jewelry, party jewelry, whatever you might want to wear it for. You can find all the supplies and other projects like this at beadaholic.com.